<laughs> hey, most fishermen know that one of the best times to fish during the year is the spring before the weather gets too hot. Now, fish are feeding in both freshwater and saltwater, and if you haven't tried saltwater fly fishing, maybe today's show will get you started. And the bass season gets underway in Pennsylvania on June 12th, so we've got some of that and more information right now when we go out in the open. Out in the Open is brought to you by Statewide Abstract and National Abstract Companies. For 35 years, the Pocono choice when you need a real estate title research company. By Buck Hill Firearms in Mountain Home, the Northeast number one online retailer of firearms. By B&B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale, a family-owned and operated new and pre-owned car and truck dealership trusted for the best price and service since 1970. By the Car Firearms Group, the number one choice of personal carry, and the Tommy Gun Warehouse in Greeley, where you will find the largest retail showroom in the Northeast for all kinds of new and used firearms. Hey folks, welcome to this edition of Out in the Open. I'm Alex Zedock. And I'm Joanne Zedock, and we've got some more wonderful news for you. And we are out in the open, aren't we? We are. It's, it's <laughs> Absolutely. Nice. We're visiting with our friend Ed Berkholzer, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about saltwater fly fishing because... He does saltwater fly fishing. Of course, he does the freshwater fly fishing and all those kinds of things. But, you know, Joanne, it's not that difficult to get involved or started, uh, you know, in fly fishing. And if you're mm -hmm. a fly fisherman or if you're not and you get to the shore and you want to do some saltwater fly fishing or for for bass, you know, right, right. Uh, bass, walleye, you know, all those bigger game fish, right. uh, you can they use like the same. Big, big, big baits, don't big they? Big baits, big hooks like that one. <laughs> That's a, that's a big one. This is just a, for decoration, though. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and you like to wear those kinds of things. Yes. And uh, when we talk with Ed, you're going to find out that uh, he ties all kind of flies. Right. And we got, um, you know, a cicada fly we want to show you, too, which is interesting, and a bass fly, you know. <laughs> right. So the, the bass season does open, you know, on June 12th, on right. Saturday. So it, by the time the show airs, a little bit after it, it opens, people are going to be out. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, the bass season's open all year long. Right. But the regular bass season, right. the one where you can keep some fish, right. you know, is open uh, then. Um, and it's and very good for your freezer to be able to do that. Absolutely. Keep a few, <laughs> except, you know, the traditional bass fishermen exactly. put and take. They like to catch them and right. put them back and that kind of thing, which mm -hmm. is fine. Hey, keep a few to eat them. We do. Why pay somebody else to go catch your fish for you someplace else? <laughs> you know? No. Right? Catch we, our own. We like to catch our own. That's Absolutely. For sure. Hey, uh, the, uh, 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 the fawns are out. Uh, starting, you know, the big thing is that they started, the, the, the fawns started being born May 27th, mm -hmm. and they actually, June 19th is the peak, mm -hmm. and then it goes like till August, beginning of August, you know, August 4th, 5th, right. 6th, somewhere, in there. And, and it's, but, but on June 19th is when the majority of them get dropped. They're so cute. I mean, <laughs> now, we have, I haven't seen it yet this year, but last year we were driving down the road and we saw one that was about this big. And the mother went across, and we started flashing our lights and everything, so every, people stopping both ways. They could not believe Laying it. Laying in the middle wonderful. of the road, and a guy got up and picked it up and took it on the side of the road, which was really great. You know, they, they weighed four to eight pounds, like a little baby, actually, right. when they're born. Exactly. You know. Interesting. They're yeah. newborn like newborns. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we've got a great show for you, so don't go away. We'll be right back. It's been years in the making. Tim Flanagan's landmark upland hunting masterpiece is finally here. This new coffee table style edition, The Birds of My Life, Grouse and Woodcock, is a lifetime of extraordinary hunting experience vividly brought to life by Wild River Press. At 11 by 8.5 inches, with 413 all color pages, it contains rare photographs of grouse and woodcock the result of spending thousands of hours in the field.
This is the Upland Game Book to have and to give. Order your copy today directly from wildriverpress.com. Come enjoy great food and famous jug wings at the Jug Handles Creekside Bar. It's outside dining done right for these times with social distancing, sanitized stations, and a staff that's focused on your safety. It's always better at the Jug Handle, Cinnamonson. Hey, folks, we're talking with our friend Ed Bergholzer, and um, Ed lives uh, in the northern Poconos here and uh, travels everywhere to do fishing, uh, fly fishing, uh, saltwater fishing, freshwater fishing, mostly a... Uh, most you would do all fly fishing. You don't do any Pretty bait much, casting yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, no. everything you can do with a bait casting rod, can you can do with a fly, fly rod, right? Yes. right? Yes, yes, indeed. We're talking a little bit about what you can do uh, transition from you know from freshwater fishing um, uh, to saltwater fishing. And if you've done any heavy freshwater fishing with a like with a with a fly rod, like a you know like perhaps um, uh, bass fishing or walleye or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. else, you can transition easier, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this this is a pretty heavy. This is a pretty heavy outfit here. Yes. What is this? This is, this, a, is... this is a nine foot, 11 weight rod. It's a heavy rod uh, with a floating line and a large arbor reel. And uh, this pretty much you can use anywhere for salt water. Okay. And, and you also have a nine weight, right? Which I have is a nine a weight, bit, so... which is a little bit lighter, the, 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 the rod itself. And I have a sinking line on that. Okay. So I have a floating line and a sinking line, depending on the type of water that I'm fishing. I'll use either either one or the other. Now, now I used the nine weight when I went up to uh, to fish in the Salmon River. Mm -hmm. So that could mm -hmm. be sure. used. That's sure. just the same. Yep. You can same use that rod. kind of thing. So same anybody rod. that's done that. Yeah. Yep. And 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 what about the the lure that we have right the up here on top? The fly on top. Basically, is just your bait fish pattern. Okay. Which is ninety percent of the flies that I would use in salt water represent a and bait about fish. this size. Yep. And what size hooks are we talking about, uh, basically? A, a two O or a one O. Okay. Not a real big hook, um, but like I said, the bait, the the uh, bait fish, whether it be a menhaden or a spearing or a sand eel, which is not an eel, it's a fish. Uh, that's what you'd use to represent it, a small bait fish, that the uh, stripers and the bluefish. And even the albacore would. would okay, be. so when when you're when you're fishing in the surf, or you're casting this mm -hmm. in a bay or someplace mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that, uh, you, is that, does this does this bait sink like it, it would? You, you say yep, now sinks. this is a floating this line. This is a floating line, so, so the, the line, line is stays floating. Up, the the fly would sink. Uh, if you wanted to get it down deeper, in like a deep channel, uh -huh. I would use the the uh, the sinking line. Okay. But basically, you're you're going to uh, you know throw the Throw the bait fish pattern out there and strip it in to make it look like a a, a, a bait fish that's injured or whatever. Uh -huh. What about you use any weight or anything on these no, things? Or you no, don't have to use no, any weight. No it's weight. Just, you know, the fly is the the only weight you need. Okay, so yeah. when the fly's out there in the surf, I mean, mm -hmm, you're you know mm -hmm. you you go out in the surf right, and, right. and you're casting your fly out. Right. And you're working your fly pretty much the same way you would if you were. Uh, if you're fishing a streamer in fresh water, okay. stripping it. Right. Um, right. Most most uh, saltwater fishermen use a stripping basket to strip the line in because the current and the sure. tide would you know oh, take yeah. your line all the way. But you'd strip it into the basket, cast it out as far as you can, as far as you want to. Now you, you were just up in Rhode Island. You go up there and you fish yes, up yes. there, and it yeah, was uh, yeah. you know the weather uh, this past week was not was conducive not great, over but the I, holiday. Right. But you went, you caught a couple fish. I caught some bass. Um, it was. Like you said, it was terrible weather, uh -huh. but uh, before the weather really got nasty, I did catch some fish. I fish up there in what's called the salt ponds, okay. which are basically connected to the ocean by a breachway. So it has the tides, okay. the low and high. and But no waves? No, very little. Very little very waves. Little. So it's okay. like fishing in a big lake. Oh, but it's okay. salt water. But it's salt water. It's salt water, uh -huh. and it's got And you wade out what waste? You wade out, you wade out in your waders, or if you're going to fish on the flats, which is the shallow part, you can you can actually just wade in there in your shorts in the okay. summertime. But uh, basically, the, the stripers, the bluefish, they're there all, all year. Oh, oh, so they stay in the salt pond. They stay in the salt ponds. Do they come and go from the ocean? They might. A little bit? They might, yeah. 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 Others come in, maybe some go out, mm -hmm. but... Uh, they're in for the bait fish. They're there for the bait fish or the crabs. Okay. Or a little um, shrimp. Okay. Whatever they can eat. And but, there's a little worm you use sometimes? Well, uh, the worm hatch, which is going on now, okay. is in the salt ponds. Uh, that's a little tiny cinder worm is what they call okay. it. And it, if the temperature of the water is just right and the, everything is right, they'll hatch up out of the mud. 
and wiggle along the top of the water. Uh -huh. it's, it's a sensational hatch because <laughs> there, it brings in hundreds, uh -huh. literally hundreds of stripers. And they just feed on them. They suck them in like they would, like a trout would a, now, a dry you use fly. the same outfit? Same outfit. I okay. would use the, the floating line. Okay. And I'd put a little tiny cinder worm fly on there and just okay. twitch it through real slow. Uh -huh. And um, I've caught some stripers up upward to 20 pounds wow. on a little tiny fly. Wow. Uh, you, you know, stripers, uh, uh, you know, um, the, uh, and bluefish, mm -hmm. uh, you, you mm -hmm. don't have to worry about them breaking the line. You, you uh, know, the, what the, do you use the as a leader? The bluefish you do. Right, right. The bluefish, uh, actually, most of the time, I don't really want to catch bluefish <laughs> because not only do they, a lot of times, you know, because you're just using a regular 20 pound test tippet for right. your striper fishing or your whatever. Right. And if you're, oh, a school of bluefish come in and grab it, you're probably going to lose a couple flies right. unless they get it in the bottom of their mouth yes, where the yes. hook is out. But um, plus, they're, they're, when you try to get them off, they, they can bite you. Oh, yeah, I know. We, <laughs> so, I, I, I can tell you some bluefish uh, stories when I from catch, uh, When I catch a bluefish, I'm like, okay, all right, put them back, get, get them off the hook. But the, the stripers are nice. They're like stripers catching, they're like nice. catching a, a largemouth bass. You can, yeah. you can thumb them, pick them up out of the water, take the hook out, and release them. Basically, when you're fishing, um, you know, if you're if you're if you're nymph fishing in fresh water, you're, mm -hmm. you're you've got you're down the bottom. Right, right, you know? right, right. What do you do in a situation? Uh, a friend of mine told me, and I, we haven't tried it yet. I'd mm -hmm. love to try it. Mm -hmm. uh, you catch them flounder actually mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the surf, in, yeah. like in in southern right. Maryland right. areas, the Chesapeake area. How do you do that? They're in the salt ponds where I fish Are too, they? Fl uh, flounder and fluke. But, but you use the floating uh, lure. How do you well, get down to the flounder? If, if you wanted to do that, I would use a sinking line. Okay. And I would use a crab pattern. Okay. And the crab, just let it sink okay. all the way, you know, to the bottom. Yeah. And then twitch it along the bottom. And uh, I've caught... Is this a crab pattern? Yep, I've caught flounder. Is this a crab? Yep. I've caught... Oh, can't I've crab, caught he's uh, sea robins. This is a crab pattern. Yep, that's a crab okay, pattern. Okay, so this crab pattern... Yep. You're, you're just... You let it sink. Oh, it, it's, it's got gonna, a little weight it, to it. Does it have weight in it? It has yeah. weight in it okay. because you want it to go down right onto the, to the bottom. Okay. And I would use that also on the flats to fish for the stripers, which oh, is okay. what we do when we go sight fishing. Uh -huh. There's flats there, just like you can see in the Florida Keys okay. or whatever, and you walk out and stand there and watch for the stripers. And what? The, the, one, the stripers that come in on the flats are usually the bigger ones. And you see them coming and you try to present the, the crab. Uh -huh. To them, and it's uh, it's very exciting when they're no, when bet. they're coming by. No, and uh, I've caught some some decent sized ones doing it that, that way. So the transition from salt from freshwater fishing to saltwater fishing, if you're doing any fly fishing and you're doing mm -hmm. heavyweight fly mm -hmm. fishing, mm -hmm. is not that difficult. It's, it's very just simple, a matter, really. Very similar, and maybe some of the the flies are different a little bit. The flies are bigger. I bigger? mean, they're more bait fish type things, as right. we were saying. Uh, but there isn't a lot of you know. Detail as far as nymphs and uh -huh. mergers and dry but, but, flies. But you would use, would you use something yeah, like this? Use, I don't know if I can get it out of yeah, there. Yeah. Dig it out. Yeah. There we go. Would you use something like this in fresh water? Sure. You could use that as a. You what know, would you catch with that? Bass, what, what do you fish? Bass. Bass, you fish bass, bass that? walleyes. Okay. Pickerel, whatever. Oh, I mean, so, it's, so, it's a bait fish. You so know, it's, it's a bait fish. So we just, you know, simple, you can use the same kind of bait same fish. Same kind of, yep. Same yep. kind of situation, yep. right? Mm hmm. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, you're going to tie one of these, okay. right? And you're going to okay. show how easy it is to tie yeah, one of these. these are... We're going to take a little break here, okay. and then we'll come back, and we're going to have you tie that. And we're going to talk a little bit about cicadas okay. and a little bit about <laughs> some, uh, other, some of these other flies. Don't go away, yeah. folks. We'll be right back. Real estate law is our business. I need an abstract title search company near Stroudsburg, Mount Pocono, Pocono Lake, Lake Naomi, Blake Slee. Call National Abstract at 570-646-4110. For offices near Scranton, Clark Summit, Lake Wallen Pompac, Lords Valley. And for general information, call 570-226-6229. For 35 years helping people with real estate, we're a Pocono experience you can't afford. Call 570-226-6229. Buck Hill Firearms, home of the $10 transfer. Located at 916 Route 390 in Mountain Home, Pennsylvania. You never have to make an appointment. We're open 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Buck Hill Firearms is a full-service gun shop with on-site gunsmithing. Buck Hill Firearms NRA certified instructors are here to help you choose a gun that's right for you. Buck Hill Firearms, 916 Route 390 in Mountain Home, Pennsylvania. Right next to the Mountain Home Diner. 
Check out the website at BuckHillFirearms.com. Better and better. Don't be shy. Stop by and see why so many folks rely on B&B for the best buy. Easy to find in Honesdale. We're making deals on all types of wheels. Brand new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, and the cleanest pre-owned vehicles in the land. For big choices and the best buys, head to B&B, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale, where smart buyers shop first. B&B, better and better. To translate a vision into reality is true innovation. At Car Arms, we not only manufacture some of the most advanced firearms on the market, we build assurance and reliability through a solid history of quality. We pride ourselves on offering concealable, performance-driven firearm systems that exceed expectations time and time again. Car Arms, American ingenuity at its finest. Hey, folks, welcome back. We're talking with Ed Bergholzer, and we're talking uh, saltwater fly fishing and some freshwater fly fishing heavyweight stuff, uh, not this little light trouty stuff mm -hmm. that we're using. Mm -hmm. We're using big things now. But everybody loves the cicadas, and the cicadas, you know, are big news everywhere now, uh, kind of in Pennsylvania. Not so much up here uh, in the northern part of the Poconos that we are now. We're kind of waiting to see if any show up. But um, 17 years ago, Ed tied this cicada fly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, uh, this is this is not this is a realistic right, fly. Right, right. That's now not you said fishing. you just sent some 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 um, realistic flies to a guy in uh, Maryland. A fellow in Maryland named Tony Lolly is doing a book on realistic flies from okay. tires all over the world, and he. Um, I sent him 12 of my realistic flies, okay. and it's at the publishers now to be published, and this is one of them. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> That'll be great when the book comes out. We'll have to do another show yeah, and yeah. see what these realistic yeah. flies look yeah. like, because they're a little bit different mm -hmm. than, than than your fishing flies, right? right? These right. take a lot more and time, lot more effort, detail, and energy. And trying to a lot make more them, detail, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, th th this one, these are some cicadas that you tied. Right. These are uh, ones I tied recently, waiting for the uh, hopeful You may arrival. have to go south. Yeah, I may have to go <laughs> south. But uh, trout fishermen are all scurrying around trying to make a replica of these because they're uh, hoping that a lot of these are going to come and fall into the streams and rivers and lakes, and the fish will be devouring them. It's like surprising a, to me when you fish with some of our friends, your friends, my friends, whatever, fly fishing, and people are tying on 18s and mm -hmm. 22 20s, books. tiny little things. Tiny little things like this because those poor little trout don't want to eat anything except those little buggers. Mm -hmm. And yet you put throw these out mm -hmm. there and those poor little trout will suck these right up. We hope so. <laughs> well, <laughs> they do. I mean, they, they love the cicadas. They will. They will. You know? It, they, uh, they will. So. I mean, that's what they're saying. When yeah. these cicadas hit the water, right. I mean, everything eats them, right? right? Yep. But look how big yep. these things yep. are. They're, they're you know? big, and uh, they'll float like corks. I made these with uh, closed cell foam, so they're going to hit the water and just float down, and hopefully from the silhouette underneath, the, the, the trout or bass <laughs> or whatever will we'll devour them. <laughs> All right, we're going to tie a fly here, something that okay. you would use in... Um, in uh, something you would use in uh, in salt water, sure. right? Sure. Okay. What, size, what, is, what size we'll, are we doing we'll, there? We're going to use a, a 1.0. A 1.0. Or you can use a 2.0. It doesn't okay. really we're gonna matter. Do this, we're going to do this rapidly so we yep. can yep. get this yep. thing We're going to do just your basic... But uh, you could use it any place, right? Yeah. All right, you could use this for some thread uh, bass on there. or pickerel or pike or whatever. You put a little thread on there, right? Yeah. Is that thread. just the base? Just the base. Just the base. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we'll do put a little... Pearl dubbing. Now you see this knife here. You see you see this thing here. You know you know how sharp this thing is. This is a uh, a piece of obsidian. 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 Uh, it is also a flint napper and uh -huh. naps his own arrowheads. And these things are sharper than any knife you can find. Yes. I understand yes. they used to, or they still do use these in eye surgery. They, apparently they do. Yeah. You know, little yep. pieces of little, this. Little flakes of that are so sharp. Yes. And when you're working with it and napping it, you got to be very careful because yeah. you can slice your fingers right yeah. open. But, What'd you put on there? Okay. So this is some of this ice dubbing. Ice dubbing. It's what is just, that? That's a synthetic a, material. It's, it's a synthetic, little shiny stuff. Shiny stuff that yeah. has uh, some pearl. Oh, okay. To it, and that gives a little little flake flex. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And All then right. we're going to use two types of um, of uh, poly. Polyflash, or okay. cold flash. There's all okay. different types of, of this, but well, uh, 
basically, this is going to be... The idea is just to get some flashy, flashy stuff and yep, make it look yep. like when it's in the water, water, it pulses a little bit. It, look, like a, it looks uh, like a bait fish. That's, looks like a bait uh, fish. So we're going to put this on the bottom, like so. Right. And these are that really hook is upside down, yeah. so we're well, going to put this gonna be on the bottom. the bottom. And that's the bottom. Uh, you're just using some brown thread there. Okay. Just, like uh, a greenish, kind of goldish, tan. brownish uh -huh. so thread. So that's going to be uh -huh. on the bottom, like okay. so. Okay. Uh -huh. Put the hook right on both. Uh -huh. Put a little bit uh -huh. on each side of the hook there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. great. Now we're going to put a little bit more. Uh huh. So we keep putting this stuff on. Yeah, and, it's basically and, uh, just layering it on. Yeah. It's not anything. Uh, so you you tie a ton of flies. I mm -hmm, mean, you tie mm -hmm. flies almost. If it's raining outside, you're not fishing your pretty, fly. Pretty pretty much tie, all yeah. year round. I now do some fly Now you fished almost tie. every day this year, right? So far. pretty much, yeah, yeah, pretty much, yes. So you get up in the morning and you go fishing. I figure out. I have breakfast and figure out where oh, I'm going to yeah, go yeah, fishing. Breakfast <laughs> and then you figure out where you're going to go fishing. Yeah, yeah. All right. So. And um, and uh, you fish all the local streams uh, the, in the, the Poconos. The Poconos your your yeah. favorite one is down here uh, at the uh, Boy Scout camp, right? Resica Falls. Resica yep, Falls. Yep, which is open again. Last year it was not. Okay. So it's open and uh, it's... Uh, now that's stocked, right? It's well stocked. It's, it's well stocked. But is it catch and release? Uh, it's catch and release, fly fishing only. Right. There's six miles of it uh -huh. uh, within the Boy Scout camp. Okay. And uh, it's beautiful. It's... Uh, it's uh, it's very scenic. It's back in the woods. There's no cars or picnickers or anybody or hikers. It's just fly fishermen uh -huh. and Boy Scouts. Uh -huh. so and you have to pay to go in there. You have to pay a thirty dollar uh, gratuity fee to okay. to uh, fish. It's like a donation. Donate basically to the, to the base Boy, to Scout the Boy Scouts. And the Boy Scouts raise trout there too. They have their oh, own okay. runway and they stock. Ah, good. Uh, trout okay. there. And what do you call this one? What is this? Just a bait this fish is just a, just a standard bait fish. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's like a. So, so it has no real. Has no real. It's real like a, it's name, like a, it's a, a silver side or a silver side. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So that now, do you sometimes just tie flies of your own yeah. conception that you think yeah. fish will? Yeah, basically most of these are. They're okay. just, you know, I'm not copying this out of any book or pattern book or anything. Uh -huh. It's just stuff that I think will work, and it has worked, uh -huh. you know, and it can be green and white. It can be silver and white. It can be all white. Well, there's a whole bunch yeah. of them in yeah. here, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a whole yeah. flu of them in here. So, so we got, you know, all different colors and all mm -hmm. different sizes and, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. and that kind of a thing yeah. so that, uh, you know, it's... Uh, you take your pick and sometimes, take your pick you and know, try it, right? the, ones, the one that uh, I also water, like salt water. is the... Uh, the chartreuse one. Oh yeah, look at that. That's really. And that's, that's got neat. some rabbit fur. Yeah. And I as you, as you, me. as you know, in the words of the immortal Lefty Cray, you yeah. can't lose with chartreuse. <laughs> you can't that, lose that with was, chartreuse. That was one of his famous uh -huh. uh, lines, and he's and he's right. Chartreuse yeah, looks very a well. Nice, that's a nice pattern. We got a and in the water, that looks, looks nice. really good. Yep. It pulsates. So yep. now we're gonna just yep. do the whip finish. That. Tie this uh -huh. off. Pulse. Okay. Pulse. 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 Yeah. So the actual fly is done. Okay. Now I always put <clears throat> stick on eyes on the fly. Stick on eyes. Yep. You put the eyes on. are good. Yep. Um, that, that makes the fly look, you know, look real. real. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Well, tiny little eyes. Yeah. And they yeah, have I, their own glue. Yep. I have special glue. And you've got some glue you're gonna put on. You got. Yeah. Yeah. Put, on they have, on they have a little side. stick them on them, but you, they would they would fall off unless you uh -huh. put something on there. So that's where put, the super glue comes in yep, handy or something, right? Is the super glue? Is yep. that what you use? It's a uh, yep. I'll show you, but it's very uh, it's very sticky. And then I just take a little bit of the Loctite. Loctite. So you can use glue. different types sure. of things, but this is sure. this is very simple. You just put a drop or two on each arm. Yeah. On the top, and it actually helps because it puts that glob of yeah, whatever yeah, on yeah, there, yeah, right? Yeah. And it and it and it makes it it kind of. Yeah. All right, we're good. Yeah, and that's it. Right. That's and the whole so fly. That's, it. that's the whole. Pretty fly. simple. Only a few and we materials. Can leave it right in there. Right in there. Yeah, because you can see it good there. We let it dry yeah. and uh, works good. Yeah. All right, so when it. we connect now, you just uh, you're tying your your tippet right onto these uh, right. right onto mm -hmm. these flies, mm -hmm. and basically it pulses when it's in the water when like you, a when bait you strip fish. it. Yep. And yep. so yep. it's um, 
uh, you know, it just use it that way. And yeah. fresh water, salt water. Fresh water, same special, thing. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, you, you show some of your flies sometimes at some of the local fly fishing mm -hmm. shows. Is the, the New shows. Jersey fly fishing show going to be on this year, um, do you know? There, have you there, heard? I have not heard for sure. Uh -huh. Of course, last year it was canceled. Right. The International Fly Tires uh, Symposium was canceled. This year, I think they're going to have it. Yeah, I saw yeah, something. They'll have it in Parsippany at the Hilton, I, right, I've been right. told. So we'll see. I, yeah, I, I miss doing that. That's, yeah. a, that's a great show. It's a, it's a great place like for you a, to show some of your it's flies. It's like 100 too, fly tires from all over. Yeah. And they all have yeah. different things that they different use. Different ideas. And ideas. Yeah. And, Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so beautiful. Oh, Alex, I need one of these. Well, maybe two, because you know sometimes I'm not the best fisherman out there. That is really, really nice, huh? Yep. I thought this was a good one on my collar, but that's, this, this is This is cool. yours. This one's already done. This one's still hardening. <laughs> oh, look at how big the eyes are on this yeah, one. Yeah, they may Pretty be neat, little, huh? maybe a little bit bigger, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. And Thanks for coming on and sharing You're all welcome. this with us. You're and uh, uh, You know, as a fly fisherman, you'll see him on a stream on the... Uh, uh, the Lackawaxen, uh, mm -hmm. loves the fish, the mm -hmm. Lackawaxen down there. He's always mm -hmm. down there. You're yeah. everywhere, right? Yeah. Like all the local streams. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah. somewhere yeah. you'll be fishing. Out in the hey, open. us too. <laughs> yeah, we will be. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, folks, don't go away. We'll be right mm -hmm. back. Out in the Open is brought to you by statewide abstract and national abstract companies. For 35 years, the Pocono choice when you need a real estate title research company. By Buck Hill Firearms and Mountain Home, the Northeast number one online retailer of firearms. By B&B &B Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram in Honesdale, a family-owned and operated new and pre-owned car and truck dealership trusted for the best price and service since 1970. By the Car Firearms Group, the number one choice of personal carry, and the Tommy Gun Warehouse in Greeley, where you will find the largest retail showroom in the Northeast for all kinds of new and used firearms. Hey, Joanne, uh, you know, Ed Bergerholzer has so much information, and we saw him tie some flies and talked about some of the mm -hmm. other flies, and the cicadas especially. They're, uh, people yeah. don't realize that I those know. little buggers are pretty big, and we haven't seen them yet up here in the northern Poconos, but in the southern regions, we've right. seen them in the southern Poconos, and, of course, down south of us, right. you know, they're kind right. of spotty, 17 years. But they, from what I'm seeing, some of my friends I've talked to that are south of us, sometimes they, they like almost cover something entirely you can't oh, see like the bank anymore right it's yeah. amazing how many get, yeah. are in a group like that but now you're starting to see people with cicadas on their noses <laughs> and on their hands and, right because they don't bite they don't hurt they don't do anything best to leave them alone but the fish love them as ed pointed out right. you know i mean uh, they go crazy for these things and they're big i mean you saw the size they of are. those oh, things yes so we're going to be doing a lot of fishing we're going to hope to get a cicada to have to Flip out there for men. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We're going to try that, put it out on the lake and see what happens. Hey, be careful, please, we, because the fawns are starting to follow their mamas now right. across the road, and they, they're not too sure what's going on, and uh, they're going to be all over the place, and uh, we're going to start seeing a lot of those. Right, enjoy and, them. Uh, absolutely, and get yeah. out and do some fishing. Try some fly fishing and try some saltwater fly fishing, because it's a lot of fun. You can bet we're going to be here. We're going to be somewhere. Oh, we're going to be out in the open. Absolutely.